Hi everyone, my name is Morgan Flowers. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, you already know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're not new here, hey boo, you do the same. If you're not subscribed yet. Um, yesterday when you guys go, when you, yo, I can't even talk, wow. When you guys saw me go to Kava, that was Monday, today is Tuesday. And I just finished doing like a, a, um, a gifted collaboration. Um, I got reached out by the, get, uh, the Better Skin Co. And they gave me this gel cleanser, which I just finished using. And then I have this Eye Bright Serum. Um, and then it's just this clay mask. Yeah, it's a like a clay mask. So I used the first two products. I didn't use a clay mask yet. You know, my, my skin, I kind of feel like I'm betraying my skin routine. Like, my skin routine is like, what are you doing? Like, what is that stuff? <laughs> so that's kind of like what I was doing this morning. Um... And um, I guess I'll edit that content, edit that footage. Ew. Sorry. Um, these flowers <laughs> that you guys saw me buy in... What, what was that? That was my Sunday reset. So they're blooming pretty for the most part. As you can see, there are still little like buds here. But they're pretty much bloomed. Um, I was saying ill to this right here those little like white things it looks it looked like a maggot or something at first i'm not gonna lie so that's why <laughs> that's why i was looking like that um <laughs> but they're blooming nicely the other ones are kind of dying a little bit but um i have to work today so i'm trying to get the content stuff out of the way i do have uh, i was reached out to by merit again i did a merit collab a while ago um I actually messed that one up, but that's a different story. Um, but they basically reached out to me again, uh, which is fine. You know, I'm just going to do it again. <laughs> and then I also have the Dr. Dennis Gross, Gross pads that I need to kind of like um, do again for April. So I'm not really in a rush for that content, but just trying to line everything up and get stuff out of the way. Like I said, I did do the Better Skin Co. I'm going to edit that soon. And I will check in with you guys. I know I gave it all in DD. I know I can lie. I feel it coming. Diamonds of the essence. I try to teach you. But I need some lessons. I need to give it all. Sorry, it was like a little dip. But I messaged him about my money, right? 
and I, I gave him a breakdown of all the things that I've done for him that I have not been compensated for. Um, it's, of course, my camera is going to be moving, y'all, but anyway. Um, but basically, I gave him a breakdown of everything that I haven't been paid for. He responds, like, with these all these messages, long messages. He's like, and one of the things that he mentioned in the video, in the message was, let's not forget I was the one to introduce you to the hourly rate. What, what the, what are you talking about? Like, what does that matter? What does that mean? You introduced me to, a, yes, mind you, he introduced me to the hourly rate. Why did he not drive in? Y'all, I need to relax. I need to relax. Because me being annoyed and driving do not go hand in hand. But anyway, you introduced me to the hourly rate process because at the time, I was only doing videos for one person, which is mic'd up with Monty. I was only doing her videos and her and I agreed on a price because she was trying to do videos basically weekly. So I was, we agreed on a price that was cool. So he introduced me to this hourly rate process and what I should be paid for and all the things that I should have in my price and I should make sure I'm, I'm keeping up with the time that it's taking me to edit and my presence even being at the shoot. Like he had me write down everything and write and, and put a number to, um, to like, my editing process and everything. So yes, you introduced me to the process, but you're still not paying my rate. So what's the point in mentioning that? What was the point in saying, yeah, I'm the one to introduce you to the rate thing? So the F what? Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> so what? But he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm proud of your aggressiveness. It's actually making me happy right now. I'm not even being aggressive. <laughs> I'm not being aggressive. Like, what are you talking about? Y'all, I'm so irritated. But anyway, we're having a good day. <laughs> we're having a good day. It's 10 in the morning. I'm gonna just try to like, I'm gonna listen to some balanced black girl because her voice is very soothing. Not only is it good messages, but her voice is relaxing, you know? So I'm just gonna like try to relax. And he said he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna pay me on the 15th. Say, yeah, my money is tied up and stuff. I didn't forget about you. You've been telling me you're not been, you haven't forgotten about me since December. Like, you told me that in December. Like, yeah, I got you with your money. It's April. <laughs> Talking about I've been, I'm being aggressive. I'm not being aggressive, actually, which is why it's been four months, and which is why we're still in the same predicament. So I basically responded to that, and then he's like, yeah, um, I said, you haven't updated me at all. I would feel a little bit better if you said, hey, Morgan, I'm so sorry. Like, you know, X, Y, and Z is going on. I didn't, um, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm aiming for this date. Like, whatever. You haven't said a, a, a daggone thing to me. He's like, yeah, there's been a couple times where I wanted to reach out to you, but I didn't for whatever reason. It's so funny you're reaching out today. I don't want to bust it up with you. And then he said, yeah, um, he said, I hope this doesn't leave a bad taste in your mouth. Like, I will hope we, basically hoping we can work to it in the future. What taste do you think is in my mouth right now? What taste is in my mouth? I'm confused. Is it sweet? Like, <laughs> what? But anyway, I'm going to try to, like, get that out of my mind and hope that, hope that he's, hope that the 15th comes around and I can get paid. Me working for free was never something that I intended on doing. And I continue to do work with him because I trusted him. Basically, bottom line. You know, he had, like I said, he had me do this whole hourly rate thing. Cool. Just for him not to pay my rates. Like, I was very confused by that. I wasn't expecting that at all. So, um, I get things happen and that's what I said to him. I get things are going on in your life where maybe you have, he said he has his money tied up and stuff. Okay, you have your money tied up and stuff, but I need my money too. Like, I need my money too. I'm a struggling nano influencer <laughs> with a nine to five that I hate. So like, come on, like this is crazy. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go get myself a matcha. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try to make it a different way. I'm gonna explain that to you guys when I get there. I'm sorry I'm rambling. I'm just kind of frustrated right now. My package still didn't come for the collaboration I was supposed to do. I'm just like flustered a little bit. So, excuse me. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pray. <laughs> I'm gonna say a little prayer. I'm asking God to just like relax me a little bit, ease my mind. 
that's what I need. I need my mind to be eased. I need to get from in front of this, from behind this car. But I need my mind to be eased and, you know, um, just hope it all works out the way it's supposed to. This is definitely a lesson, like I said to you guys before. But I'm going to go because I actually, at, at this point, I'm rambling and I can keep going on and on about it. Um, but I'm not going to do that to y'all. So, um, I'll, ta I'll chat with you guys in a little bit. Um, I'm going to get my matcha so you guys will see me doing that next. And then I'm headed home. I do have to work later. So, um, I'm just going to try to like rearrange my mind right now. So, I'm back. My mind is like... <sighs> he, I didn't respond to his last message. So, he texts me again and says... You look gorgeous in your last pic. Read the room. <laughs> like, read the room. <laughs> when I tell you that message took me to another... <sighs> I'm actually pissed. Because... Oh, God. I'm, I'm pissed. Dang. I'm sorry y'all I'm pissed because I feel like a joke like I feel like he's not taking me seriously like why do you feel like that was appropriate I'm just like that message really just took me to a whole a whole nother place like I'm just really frustrated I'm, I'm over it right now all right sorry y'all I'm gonna get my matcha and I'm gonna feel better <laughs> ah, gosh so close no okay so now i'm at dollar general because i need to get a couple things i have some things on my list to buy um is this music no it's not about to say girl you can get copyrighted um so i need paper towels i need batteries um i made the list on my phone of course all right i gotta find stuff but <laughs> i just need a couple little things i need I need toothpaste, girl. I used my last little drop today, Joe. So, I'm just gonna get some, something and then I'll check back in. So I needed, um, I needed paper towels, toothpaste, batteries, and um, detergent. So I just got that stuff. I haven't washed my clothes in weeks, y'all, like, weeks. It's like over, overpowering at this point. <sighs> So, okay, aside from that, I'm getting my Starbucks. We're here. Say hi. Um, <laughs> so, I'm going to tell you guys what I get. A friend of mine on Instagram, um, she actually does my hair. Yeah, she does my locks. Um, she introduced me to a different flavoring that she added to her matcha. So, I was like, let me try that. So, I'm going to get that today. Um, I kind of want a breakfast sandwich as well. So, I'm going to do that. It's literally going on 12 o'clock. It's going on 12 o'clock. I work at 3. So I'm just going to go home and just relax. I do have some work to do. Um, but like I said, I'm just kind of in the mood to relax because, yeah. So I'm back home. Feeling better. <laughs> My matcha order is usually, I usually get oat milk, caramel syrup, and caramel drizzle. But um, Tiana on Instagram, <laughs> she recommended, well, she posted the toffee one. She posted matcha with toffee flavoring instead of caramel so i was like i'm gonna try the toffee it's not too bad at all i will order it again it's not too bad it's definitely it tastes a little bit different than what i usually get because it's clearly not caramel but i like it <laughs> hey y'all i'm home from work um happy because it's the weekend i mean i am kind of busy this weekend so it's kind of like blah but at the same time i'm still happy that it's the weekend i'm off work and um, I was trying to wait to wash my hair for the collaboration. But y'all, that product still didn't come. I, tr I kind of mentioned that earlier in the midst of the madness. But um, my product still didn't come. Um, so I'm kind of like stressed out about that, I guess. I was explaining to you guys that in my previous vlog. Like, I wanted to, I was really excited about that. It's crazy how th the one that I'm, pay I'm getting paid for is the one that's going left. But I'm not going to put too much pressure on it. I'm just going to um, celebrate my other win. I actually did a collaboration a couple weeks ago 
with this like vegan cruelty free company and they reached out to me today via Instagram and they said that they they really like my content and they wanted to bring me on as their like ambassador so I thought that was nice ah! I thought that was cute <laughs> so I was excited about that I was like okay how is to balance the lose you know what I'm saying so that was exciting today um so I'm just gonna wash my hair <laughs> because at this point it's getting crusty dusty and um untrusty <laughs> because my hair is actually really like brittle like not brittle but it's i can tell it's dry basically so i'm just gonna wash it and um i did hold on i did i do have some rice water yeah i do y'all i've been talking in this british accent like <clears throat> so if it comes out every once in a while i'm really sorry um <laughs> but i did do like this little right um well, I had rice for dinner one night, and um, and I just had some put aside, some rice water. So, I was trying to ask on Instagram, like, what do you guys use for rice water? Or, like, not what do you guys use, but how do you use the rice water? Like, how long do you leave it in your hair? Do you use it as a mask? Do you put it in a spray bottle? Do you add other oils? I did hear before that people add, like, uh, castor oil or something to it so that maybe it'll mask the smell. I'm kind of scared to smell it, but I did hear it stinks. It smells like rice. <laughs> they don't really stink to me, but maybe in the hair it'll come off different. But I did hear to, to use it before. Well, v, the girls on Instagram said to use it before. Let me just say this. The girls on Instagram all said different stuff. So, <laughs> so I don't know. I'm trying to take advice from a grain of salt. I told my best friend that I would just try different methods. So maybe I'll just use a little bit of it. I know she said to put it in a spray bottle. I, I definitely kept hearing that. So I had to get a spray bottle or another spray bottle because the one that i have i use strictly for water so i don't want to add nothing to that um so i'm going to get another spray bottle so i spray bottle so that i can use this and i guess i mean i'm going to be on my natural hair stuff right now because i don't have an appointment booked my hair is just going to look like my hair i keep looking at the viewfinder instead of the camera so y'all see me like this <laughs> but um but yeah i am gonna pretty much be wearing my hair like in this natural state um I, like i said i don't have an appointment booked and i don't feel like spending 200 plus dollars on braids and all the other stuff like i don't feel like it so um i do have a trip a little mini trip coming up um in may so i'm gonna get braids for that actually yeah i'm gonna get braids for that i gotta plan that well because it's already april Okay, so I'm just going to go and take a shower and wash my hair. Um, and I'm going to kind of rearrange my place again because, well, just temporarily, just put my table by the TV, which is over here, so that I can sit in front of the TV and just kind of twist my hair up for the night. Um, I do have a busy day tomorrow, like I keep saying. I feel like I said it like three times already. Um, so I do want to have my hair, like, I want to just twist up my hair and then in the morning I'll just take it out and then whatever. So, rice water, I'm going to try this another time because like I said, I don't have a spray bottle. Um, I am going to do a face mask, just a little luxury for today, for me, like, I really wanted to take a bath, but like I said, I need to do my hair and all that stuff, so I didn't want to, it's already 12 in the morning, you know what I'm saying, like, I'm not about to be up until 3 in the morning trying to do all this, so, um, I'm probably going to save my bath for the weekend, maybe either, probably Sunday, I'll probably take a bath, um, so, I'm going to do a face mask, wash my hair, get comfy, and go to go to sleep okay so i'll talk to you guys tomorrow which is saturday so i'll talk to y'all tomorrow wait i lied <laughs> lied <laughs> before i go i'm actually going to start lighting okay i'm actually going to tell you guys which face mask that i want to use for today um hmm i got a couple options honestly i did a collaboration with the better skin co and they sent me this clay mask it's supposed to be exfoliating enzyme mask so this is what it looks like i don't know y'all should i try something new i'm a little scared <laughs> i kind of want to go back to, i have a couple masks in here honestly so i really should just pick some i should pick something um i do have a kills mask in here maybe i'll try that one maybe i'm going to try this kills one this is like a little sampler that i got um well it's not focusing not on me this one <laughs> So it's called uh, Rare Earth Deep Cleansing. Deep. What am I saying? You know what? Good night. <laughs> it's called Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. So I'm going to do this one for the night. As you guys can see, it's super tiny. But yeah, we're going to try this one out. 
and like I said I'll talk to you guys tomorrow officially I just wanted to show you guys what I was doing for the night so bye officially bye Makes you change your ways like hanging with your crew. Said you act like you're ready, but you don't really know. And everything in your past, you wanna let it go. I've been there, done it, up the ground. After all that, this is what I found. Nobody wants to be alone. If you're touched by the words in the song, baby. Hey guys, good morning. It's Saturday. Um as you guys can see, I'm on the floor because I'm trying to find a perfume. My perfume stand is like down there. <laughs> so, um, I'm trying to find a good smell for the day. Lately, um, well, this was like yesterday. I wore the Zara Woman Gold. Is it Woman in Gold? No, it's just Woman Gold. But it smells really good. Like, I love how this smells. Yeah, I love how that smells. Um, but I don't really know what I want to wear today. It's not giving Versace. Versace gives me very nice. I told you guys this before. My perfume haul or my perfume video. This gives me nighttime vibes. So I don't really want to wear anything for the night. During the day, child. I'm just going to go with this one. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with the Zara Orchid. Um, I know it's clear, so you may be able to see it. But this one, um, very springy. Very springy. I'm always wearing this sweater because it's like my favorite. Um, but, um, what am I about to say? My dad wants to take pictures outside. He keeps switching the location, child, so, um, we're going to go outside, so I have to go over Philly and into, like, this little parking garage, and then we took pictures in this location before, so I'm just going to park the car in the parking garage and then, um, just take pictures in, like, the city, basically, like, in the very city of Philadelphia. Philadelphia. He has a subway vision that we did before. He was, like, in the subway. We took some shots. So, I don't know. We're going to wing it. I actually thought about taking pictures myself. But since I'm already out there, you know what I'm saying? But I would have had to find an outfit. It's not that nice today. It's kind of, like, in the 40s. So, I'm not interested in trying to get cute and... Yeah. And today is actually a big family day. Like, I'm seeing my dad. And then I'm going to... Since I'll already be in Philly, I'm going to see my mom. Um, and I got that comment before, like, I never talk about my mom, so, um, I do see her every once in a while. So, I'm going to see my mom since I'll already be in Philly, and then after that, later on, my fam, my dad's side of the family is having a game night. Like, a movie night type of vibe, so we're going to do that later. So, it's just family day, all day today. <laughs> so, so, um, I'm excited about it because, you know, it's not too often where we all get together, or it's not too often that I see my family all in one day. Like, I really don't remember the last time that had, that happened. Um, so let's get on the road. Um, I did have some cereal this morning for breakfast because I didn't feel like cooking. And honestly, I was finishing that video from last week. That event, that all-white event, I was finishing the editing for that. So, I just had some cereal. Um, I don't want to get a drink. I, I did want a matcha again. But I'm going to just take it easy because, um, I don't like to have to go to the bathroom a million times while I'm out. Like, I'm Miss Pissy Patty. Like, I'm going to have to go to the bathroom. I hate stopping in public bathrooms all the time. So, um, I'm not going to get a drink because we're going to be outside and no. So, let's go. Okay. Hey, y'all. It's me. In the dark, child. Alright, so I'm at the parking garage. Whoa. This car had parked crooked, so I was waiting for this other car to come out. So I can park here. It's chilly. Ooh. Rolling things up. Um. Okay. I'm like, what's that sound? <laughs> I just felt really discombobulated. But this is where I'm pretty much meeting my dad. Um, I just parked in his parking garage. Um, just got a parking ticket. So yeah, I parked in his parking garage so that I can meet him. Where, excuse me, where we're shooting is literally like right outside of here. Yeah, this is the parking garages and people park like slightly crooked like you gotta fix that if you parked a little crooked you gotta fix it because you really inconvenience it everybody else you're yeah, like you're inconveniencing everyone else if you park just slightly crooked like it's crazy but goodness gracious damn 
Oh wow, am I on the line? I'm talking crap, am I on the line? <laughs> yeah. Amazing. I gotta see, cause I hate being crooked in these little parking garages. Somebody hit my car, like, we, we ain't doing it. All right, just a little bit. <laughs> but I see, look what I'm doing though. I'm gonna fix it. I'm in reverse. I'm gonna fix it because I don't want, I don't want to inconvenience anybody else, and I damn sure don't want to inconvenience myself if somebody trying to get in and they hit me or something. Like, no, that's gonna like take me to another place. I know a place. All right. Okay. Um. So my dad, pretty sure. Oh, I thought he texted me. Um. So I'm just gonna wait for him. Um, sitting. This door is open. Oh my god, y'all. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna come back. We, we're gonna come back. We're gonna reconvene. And then I'm gonna get my life. <laughs> okay, so dad's here. Say hi. <laughs> so he wants a picture right here. I'm just gonna set you guys up on the side and just watch. Just take one. Let's see. You like that's. What? I don't want it like too far. Oh, you don't you know want what I'm saying? Yeah, because you can't really. Well, that's what the zoom is for. It's like, nah, all right. Yeah, that's too. I don't want it too far. <laughs> Just make sure. So, uh, I think that's it. Though. We got the steps. Yeah, we got three walking videos. We got pictures. We got steps, pictures, walking videos. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's a wrap or no? So, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a wrap. So. So I'm finished with my mom. We had a cute little time. Um, that was our first time. We literally just picked like a random spot. But it was cute in there. Uh, they was doing like some karaoke, not karaoke, they were doing like music bingo. Um, and you win like a prize. So we were gonna do that, but it was like kind of late. We were already like damn near finished eating at that point. Um, so now I'm getting a car wash. <laughs> and it's about time because my car is 
filthy like and then it's white so it's just been filthy for months like they might need to really be scraping like <laughs> so i'm just gonna enjoy this because i love the ones you don't have to get out the car like <sighs> i'm gonna just chill and yeah they're about to make a lot of noise anyway bye so cute wheels clean hello <laughs> so um i had to take a nap i'm at my aunt's house now um and there's my grandma right there <laughs> so i'm about to get out with her she she don't even see me i'm about to get out with her <laughs> we're here say hi tim hi <laughs> my christmas gifts <laughs> yeah this is actually crazy this is stuff that we got her for christmas but in december I haven't, well, I've seen you. You've yes, seen me several times. But not with the gift. Oh, <laughs> yes. Is it too close? Oh, no. Hi, Hi everybody. Guys. This is Miss Flowers, the grandmother. How mm -hmm. are you? <laughs> this is my baby girl. No, you're not really the baby, though. Like. No, sort of. Tana's, well, Tana's the baby, baby. But I'm anyway, the second baby. So, <laughs> ah, you're right. <laughs> All right, right. So. We are making ice cream again. <laughs> so let's do a little bit under that. That's usually what three fourths is. So just don't do it all the way to the top. Here you go. Oh, you want me to? Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm gonna put a little pinch. Here you go. Yeah, yeah. Metal there. Metal there. Wow. Twenty minutes. So we're gonna see how it's gonna get thick. Right. Be careful, Gab. That sure doesn't. Oh, I'm sorry. I like it. Yeah. Go ahead. I just zoomed in. I'll finish it. We got lemon, brownie. Um. Oh gosh, what did I say this was? Um, uh, velvet. Um, red velvet. Yep. Mm -hmm. Cookie dough, banana, and strawberry. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Mm -hmm. Bring your bowl over here, Tammy. So the ice cream, good as usual. I'm literally warming mine up right now. Okay, okay, okay. So I got the strawberry, um, cookie dough, and lemon. Hey guys, um, as I'm editing this video, I decided, I decided to jump back in really quickly and kind of explain to you guys like that, that was it Friday when I was like really emotional. Um, I realized that I never kind of gave you guys a recap of like what that emotion was about. Like I, re I never talked about it. I really couldn't like get it out just within all of the emotions. I was just angry. Um... Of course, I was just sad. I felt like overlooked. I felt ignored. Like I felt disrespected. Like it was just it was just so much that was pissing me off clearly in that moment. Um for the most part, I'm generally a very happy person. I'm sitting here like Maria, you're crying on camera. Like this is embarrassing. Like you're you're crying on camera. But I do consider this to be a safe space. Like I know that when I when I come on here and I'm talking to you guys, you guys are genuinely leaving me comments and you guys are like talking to me, chatting with me, giving me advice or, you know, um, things that, like I said, I could just do differently next time. So um, I decided to let the moment be vulnerable and like I said, just kind of explain everything that, not everything that led up to it, but just what surrounded that. So I'm going to, um, 
I'm actually gonna read a part my house is junky <laughs> but I'm actually gonna read a part of his message to you guys um and just kind of like why my emotions were all over the place like I was angry because first of all why would you ever like I said in the very beginning I I sent him a list of the things that I have not been compensated for and um he had made a payment to me once and I was okay with doing projects and then getting paid with it like at the end of the month like I was okay with that that process basically um i know some of you guys were like well why would you do an event and not get paid i was okay with like i said doing a couple things getting paid at the end of the month doing a couple things getting paid like i was under the impression that that's how we were going to be doing it so um i'm going to read a part of the message to you guys um after this the vlog is over so if you don't really care to hear about it then i'll see you in the next one <laughs> um but okay so he said after i sent him the, after i sent him the message he said good morning i didn't forget about you at all and i know the work we discussed for you <laughs> y'all gonna see my faces during this whole thing um he said you've been compensated in some and still old some i got you but let's not forget i'm the one that introduced you to an hourly payment and brought you to events for ne networking purposes that you have acquired you didn't do nothing for me like if we're being completely all right all right let me take that back i'm sorry that was my anger talking just now okay yes he brought me to events for networking purposes but don't say that in response to you not paying me like we never discussed that that's what it was going to be let's be clear we never discussed that you were just bringing me to the event to network i was never doing this for free like i didn't care for your networking i didn't care for that if we're being completely honest because videography is not something that's my end all goal like i'm not trying to be the best videographer i'm not like that's not what i want to do it's just something that i do on the side yes i enjoy doing it i enjoy creating moments for other people but for the most part i didn't need you like let's not sit here and act like you did all this for me you put me on to the, the, the. no like don't ever try to throw that in my face because that's not even i didn't ask for you to do that you and you you let me relax <laughs> you came to me for help with your y'all business and to record for y'all and to come with y'all that's what you wanted me to do i didn't need you like that's what it comes down to i didn't need that like i was perfectly fine yes i didn't have a payment plan yes he introduced me to the hourly rate and yada 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 which i'm appreciative of because that helped me structure what i was doing a little bit better but for the most part if you were going to bring me in just for networking purposes i wouldn't have done it let's be clear like i wouldn't have done it so he said you didn't have pricing prior you were just working so you had me set up a pricing to not pay my price like that's just what was the point ultimately and what was the point in mentioning that if again you're still not paying my price what was the point in you you bringing me to these networking events and you introducing me to yada 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 when you're not even sticking with your word you're not even following up with what you introduced me to so it was just like okay um so then i said so then he said and i'm pleased to see your aggressiveness with this actually makes me happy but you will not be burned at all payment will be remitted to you soon yada 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 cash at me by the 15th we'll see um he said again trust me you'll get your money and if you're down and if you're down a booking for july in miami rolling loud i got you and my mindset towards you have never changed i'm seeing your progression and you're you're in what and you're in your way or well you're on your way to something bigger than you know i literally have almost every dollar every dollar tied up into these huge deals that will create great revenue i got you and i still need you a part of the movement with the rest of the calendar for this year no excuses extreme extreme apologies on the delay for the payment i just want you to know it's all on me and i'm never evading the blame we've also been requested to do another event for the same guy in philly yada 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 i hope this doesn't leave a bad taste in your mouth it already did I'm really sorry like it already did i don't see myself ever working for him again unless he pays me before nah nah i'm not even gonna throw that in there because i'm over it like i'm over it um it's been four months like i said earlier in the video what aggressiveness because it's been four months if i was aggressive i would have been got the money i would have been asking you for it every week Every, like i would have been asking you for it i haven't i haven't been pressing you so i don't understand what aggressiveness he's seeing it's been four months number one number two why would you tie your money up into something else knowing you owed me 
Why would you do that? That's your fault. I mean, he did take the blame. Cool. But that's your fault. Why would you ever do that? Because you knew you owed me money. You were just going to leave me hanging until you were ready? No. That's not how you do business. That's very unprofessional, actually. So that, he said, yada, 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 it's all love. It's actually not because I'm pissed. Like, I'm actually irritated with you. So it's not all love. No, I do not want to go to Miami with you for an event. I don't care if it's, I don't care if it's, Rolling Loud, Lil Wayne, Beyonce. No, I don't want to do nothing with you. Actually, if it's Beyonce. <laughs> no, but um, um, I'm basically saying all this to say it's frustrating. So no, I don't want to continue doing work with you. I feel like it's been too unprofessional at this point. And then as I mentioned to you guys before, what made me cry was just like, like I said, I just felt disrespected. And I wanted to go into that a little bit with you guys because like, I've been overlooking it. Like, there was okay there was a point in time where everything was fine we were being professional he was being professional child it's never me he was being professional i was just coming up to the events he was um picking me up well not picking me up we were riding together to events like say if there was an event in philly i would park my car he would we would ride together to the event i would be recording the whole thing not yada 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 cool everything was fine up until one point he came on to me cool uh, well not cool but you know that he came on to me after one point and after that he was saying little things to me i was ignoring it so i think i was crying another reason why i was crying was because i feel like i shouldn't have ignored that like i should have i should have shut it down in the very beginning um i did tell him that i was dealing with somebody so i wasn't interested in moving further with anything with him so i just wanted him to be professional like but i should have known that that was out of the window that was professionalism where what who no so <laughs> so I should have known and I just wish that I would have shut it down I wish that I would have even maybe stopped working with him after that if I felt uncomfortable um I did kind of ex allow him like I didn't like I said I didn't shut it down so uh, in that moment I was like as I was editing I was thinking about it y'all mind you I'm crying as I'm editing it because I'm just looking at myself crying but I'm just like <laughs> um I'm like I feel for the girls who like go through situations like this because it was so easy for me to blame myself like it was so easy for me to be like Morgan this is not what you get but like you should have did you should have done X Y and Z differently you shouldn't have allowed this you shouldn't have yada 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 like it was so many things that I was I was pinpointing in my own brain self-sabotaging y'all like there was things that I was just saying to myself that that didn't help the situation and it's so easy for victims to blame themselves is what i'm trying to say it's so easy for victims to get to that point so i had to kind of check myself and remind myself that he still shouldn't be saying whether i shut it down or not he should have still been able to be professional like especially after i said no i'm not interested in doing and in going into any other element of whatever relationship this is i just want to keep it i just want to do video work like i don't and we're not even going to go I'm not even going to go into every little thing. You know what I'm saying? So that was that. So every once in a while, I'll post on my close friends. Like, I'll just post, like, updates. Because I've told my close friends on Instagram that, like, I've been dealing with this man that has not paid me, yada, yada, yada. And my best friend, you know, she's in my close friends. And she's the she's the opposite of me. Like, she's ready to go to war. She, like, let's expose him. Like, this, nah, we, without a yada, yada, like, no. We not having that. Like, you got to tell people that he's unprofessional, that he does bad business. Yada. No. Like, <laughs> I am not like that at all you know like I don't want that attention um I'm not interested in bashing him like I don't want to do that I don't want to do that so I thought something was in my hair but I don't want to do that because number one I just don't want the attention I don't want a bunch of people commenting feeling bad for me like at tagging him like I'm not interested in that type of light whatsoever um and then again I still want to get paid <laughs> like I'm not about to go on a rant and post screenshots and list all the things that I've done for him that he's still like I don't want to do that on Instagram or like I don't want to do that like that's just not how I am you know so I was asked and she's <laughs> she was like if you're not gonna do it I will like I appreciate her so much she goes she goes hard for me like I really do appreciate it but I'm so different in in a sense so um I'm not interested in that type of publicity. Um, so it's just been a lot of, like I said, emotions that follow with that. Um, I did tell you, I didn't respond to his one of his previous messages and then he messaged me again 
literally like five minutes later i didn't respond he said side note you look gorgeous in your last post sitting in the chair so i said and that pissed me off like that that was the moment where i was just very upset very upset so i said why do you feel like that's appropriate right now i said i'm very confused because i'm focused on getting to the bottom of the issue like why do you feel like that was even remotely the right thing to say to me he said just a compliment nothing more nothing less i know i'm going to pay you and i was simply i was simply complimenting you on your look that you took time to prep for to show the world and then he apologized didn't respond because I just feel like, again, we're going into this unprofessionalism. Read the room. Like, you can tell I'm irritated. I'm reaching out to you again. He can tell. It's no way you can't tell by my message back to you that, I'm, that I have an attitude. Like, I didn't even read y'all what I said back to him. I said, yeah. I, I didn't even read y'all what I said back to him. But you can tell I'm upset. Like, it's no way you think that this is buddy-buddy. Let's have a good old time. Let's cackle. Let's laugh. Let's, let me compliment you, tell you you sexy. No. I don't want that from you. I want my money. Like, that's it. So, I just was feeling every emotion in the book. And I wanted to kind of explain that to you guys. Because I know, like, I didn't I didn't even go back into it. Um, again, I apologize for crying. I know that, like, <laughs> I don't know if that triggered anybody. That's why I'm, like, warning. Like, I'm, I'm crying right now. <laughs> um, so, that's the end of the vlog. Um, we're going to hope the 15th comes around and he's a man of his word. Even though he's let me down a couple times already. He still need me for the rest of the year. Hell no. Are you slow? Like, are you okay? Anyway. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day. Um, I do have a busy day today again. So, like I said, I'm just kind of wrapping up the vlog now. I appreciate you guys for watching and listening to me go on a little rant, child. It's been a little minute. Um, but, again, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. My next upload is going to be... Wednesday so I'll see you guys on Wednesday and make sure you follow me on social media too because I do post little stuff on there too so um again thank you bye Double text got me out of my element I don't want to feel like I'm settling double